Hey yo, YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Wayne6578 bringing you guys a Madden 17 tip how to set your defensive team rosters for more wins. Now, I play with the Bears, and people always write on my videos man, your defense is so good. What formation are you running? Man, what type of blitzes are you doing? What type of coverage are you doing? I see you run a lot of man defense. And this is why, man, I set my rosters. I put the fastest players and the best players at the position in those spots. And it generates better defense. The team plays better. It's a lot of things. I never go with the default roster. So I'm going to break down each one of these positions and why I put the person there and what qualities you look for for that position. That gives you the best opportunity to generate more wins in Madden. So for left end, for left end, the one thing we want to look for is high strength and high power moves. Now I have Pernell McPhee here. He's my starting left end. If you look at his strength, he's actually the strongest person on defense. He's had, he's a 92 strength. The next best strength person on this team would be, I think I saw an 88 in there. Look at that, Eddie Goldman. He's the nose tackle. So he has great strength, and you want... You want him to definitely have, uh, along with strength, you want him to also have uh, power moves. So you look for his power move. Not hit power, his power move. It's 97, so it has a 90-something uh, strength and a 97 power move. That guy is a beast. So if any fullbacks or any running backs try to block this guy when he's trying to get to that quarterback, he's going to bulldoze him over. Also, if he's lined up over a tight end and a tight end tries to block him, he's going to have an advantage over that tight end. I'm going to next roll with Hicks. He has an 85 power move. And then I'm going to go with Mitch Urine. I'm probably killing that guy's name. But that's what I'm going to set up for my left end. Now, of course, the default roster has Pernell McPhee starting at linebacker. I'm putting him on the line because this is how I want to set my roster up. Now, at right end, we want... High speed and great finesse moves. So we're rolling with Willie Young. His speed is 74, not the greatest speed. I really like a 80 or something there, but for the Bears, he's the fastest person that I have that has great finesse moves. Now, he's only a 74 speed, but his finesse moves are out freaking standing. He is a 91 finesse move. So when these running backs are trying to get on that edge, he can get off the block with his finesse move of 91, get back there and tackle that running back. Or if he's trying to get to the quarterback, he utilizes his 91 finesse move on a tight end or fullback, and he can get back there and tackle that quarterback. Next, we're going to put uh, Akeem Hicks there and then Pernell McPhee rolling third. Now, your defensive tackle, your nose tackle, you want to be your strongest guy, and you want him to have the best tackling. So we're looking over here at our strength. We have Eddie Goldman, Cornelius Washington, and Akeem Hicks. As you can see, the next strongest guy is Urine, but we have him at the ends. So we want him to have great tackling. Now, usually the nose tackles all have great tackling, but you get your strongest person with your best tackling, and that's how I like to set that nose tackle up. <clears throat> so we can see right here. This guy, his tackling is 85. Next, Cornelius Washington. I like him because he's stronger, but then we have Akeem Hicks with 85. Your nose tackle are going to have, your nose tackle and defense tackle are going to have decent tackling, but the greater the tackling and the greater the strength, that's how I like to set up my defensive tackles. This would be my nose tackle, this would be my defensive tackle two or defensive tackle one, and then defensive tackle two, and then I just set it up based upon their tackling and their strength on down from there. So we have Eddie Goldman, Cornelius Washington, Akeem Hicks, and Will Sutton. Next, we want to go at our left outside linebacker. Now, your left outside linebacker is the one that's going to be guarding the tight ends, and he's going to be putting coverage a lot. So I like to put someone with speed. Now, as you can see, Jonathan Anderson does not start on the default rosters for the Bears, and he is an 86 speed running, I mean, linebacker. You got to get this guy on the field, man. Now, the only thing about it is you have to look at his coverage. Now, the Bears don't have good linebackers as far as coverage goes. We have Trevathan, which you'll see I have him starting. 
and middle linebacker, but his zone coverage is 76, his man coverage is 67. <clears throat> but he's fast, so I like to put him out there to guard those tight ends. Now, of course, against the Gronkowski, he's not going to do that good, but you play a regular team with a decent, mediocre tight end, and this guy can stick with him the best you can. You also can use this guy with that 86 speed and make him better than he actually is. So we're going to roll with Jonathan Anderson, Jarrell Freeman, and then Nick. I'm not going to even try that. Next, our middle linebacker. we got to go with Danny. Your middle linebacker, you want this guy to have great awareness. I love speed. And you want to have great zone coverage. So this guy right here, his speed is only 80, which I wish it was more like an 86 or an 85. But his awareness is 86. The next best awareness is uh, Jarrell Freeman, which is 88. And then you want this guy to have good zone coverage so when you're using the safeties and the cornerbacks and everybody else other linebackers guarding the tight end you want to put this guy in a zone and you want to have great zone coverage you're really not caring about the man coverage because you're going to be using this guy now his man coverage is decent it's 73 that's actually pretty good but his zone coverage is three points away from 90 so you can put this guy in a, a hook zone and he will cover the hell out of that hook okay now our next uh, person we're going to put second in our roster lineup is Jarrell Freeman and then Jonathan Anderson. They have decent zone coverages, so any of these guys can really play linebacker, middle linebacker. But I do like to go with the awareness. These guys can notice the run and the pass quicker. Right here, you see awareness, 86, 88, and 69. You also have Christian Jones with the 75. You have Pernell McPhee's 91, but I have him on the line. So with the right outside linebacker, this is the guy that you usually want to use to rush the quarterback. Again, um, in most blitz setups, you're going to be utilizing this guy for your rushing of the quarterback. <clears throat> now you want him to have decent speed. Uh, I like him to also have be pretty fast, have good block shed, and great tackling. In the new Madden this year, you can tackle these quarterbacks, and you can also strip that ball. So you want to gotta have good tackling. So his speed is 86. Really good speed, man. I have two linebackers on the field right now with 86 speed. I have him, and I also have uh, that Jonathan Anderson. So of course, this is our number one draft pick, Leonard Floyd. Uh, he actually does not start by default. Starting lineup, I love his speed. I'm going to utilize his speed. His acceleration is 88. He also has, you want to look at his block shed. So this guy will get blocked a, a lot. So you want him to be able to break off of that block and get back there and make the tackle. Now his block shed is 77. Pernell McPhee is a perfect example of what you want. You want a 94 block shed. So uh, if you did want to go with just based on block shed, you can put Pernell McPhee here. Actually, this is his regular starting position, but I'm putting Pernell McPhee on the line, so therefore I'm putting Floyd right here in this position. Now he has great block shedding, and then you want him to have great tackling. As you can see right here, his tackling is 83, which is really good for a linebacker. You really want to be up there at 85, 86. He has 90, like Jarrell Freeman. That's Beast, 94, Danny Boy. You know, these are Beast down here. Keem Hicks, 85. That's what you really want, but I'm rolling with the Bears, man. For this position, you want fast block shedding. You also want to have uh, tackling and good speed. So we're going to go with that for the right, right outside linebacker. We're going to go with Leonard Floyd, Lamar Houston, and Willie Young, catch those fish, boy. And then we want to go to our cornerbacks. Now, for me, I love cornerbacks with height and speed and jumping ability. Most people try to do these aggressive catch, which you got to be able to jump up there with those guys. So, of course, we're going to go with um, the cornerbacks. You want good speed, jumping, awareness, and man coverage. I run a lot of man defenses. Uh, I would say I run about 75% man and then 25 percent zone so i love people who can have great man defense now cal is the best 
cornerback we have. Uh, this is not Seattle or Denver, but Cal Fuller has decent speed. He has 91, 91 speed. Next is Terry Porter. Callahan has 94. I really like him, but he's short. He's only 5'10". Terry Porter is only 5'10". If Callahan was like 6'1 or 6'2", I would definitely put him at the number two spot. Then Brandon Boykin and McManus. Now, also, you want to have good jumping for good man coverage and good jumping for your cornerbacks. So that's how I like to set that up. Uh, let's see, man coverage, 72, not that good. Terry Porter, 76, 79, Callahan. Their man coverage is not that good, but they make up for it with their press. You see, the only one that can really press on this team is Cal Fuller. Um, and then the jumping. You want to definitely jump to go up there and test those uh, aggressive catches. So the jumping, Cal Fuller's 90. 91 Terry Porter is 90 Callahan is 96 that guy was 6 3 or 6 2 he would be a beast he would be my number one but these guys they can jump out of the, they can jump out of the gym man but they're short they're short but Cal Fuller gives you the best opportunity to contest a uh, aggressive catch Next, we're going to roll with that free safety. Now, the free safety, for your free safety, you definitely want high coverage stats. Uh, I love speed, of course. We have 93 speed from a Adrian Amos. Uh, let's see. His coverage stats are not that good, but he's the fastest player out there. So his zone coverage is 80, and then his uh, man coverage is 73. So he's decent. Uh, I do like the 80 zone coverage and the man coverage. You, you, you're you never really going to put these guys in man coverage unless you're doing some type of funny blitz where he's covering someone uh, and you're not doing a zone blitz. But when he does have to cover that guy, he has decent man coverage. And he's pretty fast. But I'm going to roll with Adrian Amos, uh, DeAndre, and then Demontre. Demontre Hurst is a sleeper. This guy's pretty good. Uh, I do rotate between those two uh, when I have them out there. Now, the strong safety, this guy's not the original starter, but I'm going to start him. I like his stats. For the strong safety, you want high strength, great hit power, and good tackling. So this is the guy that's going to come up in the box and smack that running back in his face. That receiver is coming across the middle here. Besides the middle linebacker and the linebackers, this is the guy that's going to smack him in his face. So you want this guy to have decent speed. Of course, speed kills. He's 87, three away from 90. His strength is 71. He's not the strongest. We have Adrian Amos, the strongest, but we are running him at our free safety. So he's pretty strong. He's the second strongest person on the team. Uh, well, third strongest. We have uh, Harold Jones Cordy is the strongest, but he's one notch speed up under him. And then we want to go to the tackling. So his tackling is 67. Not that great, but still good enough. You know, you really want him to have a Prosnowski type of tackling, a 72 or above, more like an 80. But he's still good enough for this team. So basically, man, that's how I like to set up my defensive rosters. And that's the Madden tip I'm giving you guys, how to set your defensive team rosters for more wins. If you set your rosters up like this, I guarantee you, man, follow my tips on any of my other videos, have a good base defense, put your best people out on the field based upon what positions they're playing, based upon this video, and I guarantee you, you'll get more wins. It's your boy, Wayne6578. Thanks for watching.